see the players in this environment uh, helps us to make decisions going forward. And uh, it will be some hard uh, discussions for us. <laughs> and finally, from me, you said a couple of weeks ago, didn't you, when we were all chatting that after this camp, you'll sit down and hopefully assess what happens with your future at the Olympics. Is that is that the, the timeline? Well, yeah, I think so. We will uh, now uh, get uh, from this camp, look at the game, how we can develop. And then after that, we will probably discuss uh, further how uh, things will be. Thanks, Sega, and congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. Could we go to Faker Rothers for TalkSport, please? Hi, Hega. Congratulations on your first win. Um, was it a little bit of relief to get your first game out of the way and see your players perform like that? Yeah, like building up for the game. And uh, I think all the sessions we have done on the field leading up has been good. Uh, the players put on everything. It looks uh, energised, fun focused and that's what I felt during the game today also it looks fun they wanted to play keep moving keep moving the ball so and scoring goals and of course six uh, six six goals is always a great <laughs> great result regardless it was a really experienced 11 that you you put out only um Lauren Hemp and Ellie Roebuck with um less than 10 caps each what, what was your thinking behind that just to get started to lead on and bring uh, youngsters in when uh, we are already in a good good position so and also for me to see the players that i've seen on tv more so than live so that was the thought about that and creating real relationship look how they play together were they better live than, than you've seen them on the television? Well, obviously, when you see it on the sideline, uh, the pace of the game, the pace of the switch uh, is better than you see on the TV. Um, and then you, when you are on the same ground, you, you can see the small things that you don't see on the TV, the details in the movement. And, and yeah, so it was good for me to see them live. Just finally, um, was there any discussion at all about Jill Scott taking that penalty instead of Ella Toon? Well, we, we hadn't talked about that. So that was the decision made uh, on, on the pitch. Great. Thank you, Hagar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Faye. Could we go to Molly Hudson next for the Times, please? Hi, Hagar. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, I know we spoke yesterday and you were talking about the, the things that you wanted to implement that maybe you hadn't had too much time to do, whether it's the high press or the direct attacking. Did, did you feel as though the, the players managed to, to kind of take that into the performance today? Yeah, I, I really think so. We had uh, moments in the first half when they were lower, uh, hard, to, hard to break down, but we even find the space, the small pocket in between uh, defence and midfield. We did that more so in the second half because they pushed a little bit. So the, the, the um, spaces we were looking for, uh, the, the players uh, did what we wanted them to do and more successful probably in the second half uh, than in the first half. But it's good for us to have, have that going forward so we can organize and uh, look at the game again. And can I just check if the Jordan Nobbs uh, substitution was planned at half time and is she okay? Yeah, that was planned because she coming in didn't have many games. So that was just uh, uh, for us to decide. Thank you. Thank you very much, Molly. Could we go to Asif Burren for Forbes, please? Uh, hi, Hager. Congratulations. Um, You've played with and against some of the best players in the history of the game, but having now worked with Lucy Bronze, are you surprised at what a decisive player she is? Is it almost like having two players on the pitch? Yeah, obviously she she had uh, a good performance today. Uh, assist on goal, uh, worked hard in defence, starting build-up, 
attack, creating uh, opportunities, running in behind. So her presence today was good. And uh, of course, she's a leader uh, by example on the field. So she was excellent. And also you, you gave debuts to four different players. How impressed were you in particular with Ella Toon who, who created chances as soon as she came on? And uh, you said you didn't nominate her to take the penalty. So the players decided that amongst themselves. Yeah. No, she had she has a good uh, second half. She really her passing, her vision for the game. She she made it easy to find find the pocket uh, for us to the higher the ten player. She did that easily. One touch straight into Georgia. They can turn and we can run at them. So she had two or three of those. Um, and her footwork covering space. She has a good, that was a good debut and a scoring a goal as well. So, <laughs> okay, thank you, Helga. Thank you, Asif. Could we go next to Luke Edwards for the Women's Football Podcast? Please. Hi, Helga. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, so, the style of football that we saw today was really attractive on the eye. Um, it's a new era as well. Is this a style you're implement, implementing now? something that is being put in place by Serena as well, so it can be a seamless transition for when she takes over? Well, this is the style that I like to play. I want to uh, not to be too direct, but find the pocket in between and be direct in that perspective, but keeping the ball. And we know when we meet US or Germany, or then we don't create as much as we did today. So we need to be precise, looking for opportunities to run at them. So I think the the especially maybe the second half when it opens up a little bit, we could find the pocket. Um, so really, if we can play the higher player uh, and connect from there, I will be happy. Yeah, and good to see so many Davies as well. Like you say, Ella Ella too made a real impact in. In the second half, and obviously Ebony Salmon came on, as well as as well as Sandy. Um, you must be really impressed, especially with Ella, uh, how she performed, and also the other two debutants. Good to see them come on as well. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, seeing Ella in training. I hadn't seen her that much, uh, but I saw a few games with uh, United. Uh, but she covering the space. She's always looking to play high. Um, and good passing, the combination player. So she impressed me. And then changing the goalkeeper, <laughs> get the experience uh, since we have three young goalkeepers with us. And Ebony coming in, you can see that she she can adapt. She still has some work to do, <laughs> the pace of the game. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, and Lotta come in and be a present also. So it was good to see them uh, also. Uh, and finally, obviously, Ella, she seemed to pick up a knock in the second half as well. Is she okay? I know she seemed to be okay as the game went on, but is it anything serious? No. no. So she's, she's good. Real, thank you. Thank you very much, Luke. Um, final questions for Hega, please. So please raise your hand and I will go to Steve Hopper, please, for your spot. Hello, Hega. How's it going? Good, thank you. Not a bad start to your England career. <laughs> no. Um, what are you most looking forward to working with England? I like the competitiveness we have in the squad, uh, the attitude, the energy that was there today. Uh, and to go like to work towards something uh, that we can achieve uh, and there's really a good group of players that we can select from and uh, yeah and the staff like everything is built up for going forward thank you steve final question please from emma sanders for the bbc Hi, Hager. Congratulations on, on the result. Um, I just wanted to ask about, um, obviously, uh, with, with Team DB and Olympics in the back of everyone's minds, were there any players who really stood out for you today that, that you think sort of 
you know, push themselves in in the in the mindset for for Team GB? Well, I think most of the players show their character today. We were working hard for 90 minutes and tried to break down uh, Northern Ireland. And we did quite uh, often. Uh, but as mentioned, Ella Toon, that I haven't seen that much, she impressed me with her debut. Um, and Ellen White scoring three goals. Uh, yeah, so it will be difficult to... <laughs> to pick that squad yeah good luck with that thank you thank you thank you very much everyone we have georgia stanway waiting for us next so i think adrian will put you into the waiting room again and we'll see you in a few minutes thank